Good evening, this is Gambia 24 with me, Sohna Tunkara, and to our news, news in detail. The Truth, Reconciliation and Reparations Commission continued its investigations on the series of human rights violations and caught on victims during the then-president Yahya Jammeh's regime. Basiri C, a member of the defunct NIA Special Operations, testified today on some of the unlawful arrest, detention and torture of victims he carried out. More of that in this report. The National Intelligence Agency office was directly ordered by the former president to conduct series of atrocities in the country during his dictatorship. The agents who were mostly feared due to their proclaimed special operations were for years brutalizing people who were oppositions or perceived enemies of the president. Basiri say, a former army corporal who joined the NIA in 2015, narrated to the commission that the complexity of their special operations made many people scared. Mr. C, is it not really the brutality with which people who come to the special ops were treated, which actually instilled fear, and not the fact that people just see them going up and down? Sadly, no, no, because sometimes... Exactly. Because most of the time, So Exactly, that is it. Sometimes they hear screams uh, from uh, our end, and sometimes we don't even want to do things in the daytime. But in some occasions, we have to do that. And so when they hear these screams, they, they, are, they are perplexed. They don't know how to, what, thing, what is really happening. Isn't that, in fact, the reason why whenever your team set, 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 set out to go on an operation, they, they tell you, Alberta le kotenke. The 41-year-old Basiri C explained that people were forced to confess to crimes they have not committed and failure to cooperate with the operatives becomes detrimental to them. something like that. High profile. They, these are exactly. these are high profile arrests of like persons we suspect will resist or are deemed to be dangerous. IG Inspector General, top officers, people like the Inspector General and other top officials, and where beatings are to be expected. Who, who would carry out those operations? Well, I'm not. I'm going to speak. It's an infinite. If at all they bring there a person. Well, how many the moment so long you don't jail go isiko. Someone that we wanted and have picked him or her up. You know, you do get mum sibir. So to us, you do get mum sibir. Jail state menam o jam ko ne halwa muvanya wa. They will take the person inside, the OC will go with the person and they try to obtain a statement from that person. If the person is not cooperating, you will go out and tell the boys to give the individual a VIP treatment. What does VIP treatment mean in NIA language? VIP monkey dance, squad, press over you. It could be. They could be in the form of monkey dance, squatting, or press up. And uh, if at all, if in, after all of that you are still resisting, they may lay you on a table and use their hose pipes to lay you. According to many witnesses who appeared before the commission, victims were first tortured by the NIA before the interception of the death squad junglers. Basiru say, was born in Banjul in 1979. He joined the Gambia National Army in 2001 and after serving for 12 years in the army, he was discharged in 2013 with a corporal rank. He joined the NIA in 2015 and is still serving as an agent for the new state security service. For iAfrica TV, Sohna Tunkara.